All right, enough fun and games. I love this thing. This here is the next project. There's some crown molding, and this video happens to be about crown molding. This is the angled crown. The crown molding in this video uh, is flat crown. It's a new trend, putting flat crown molding above kitchen cabinets. So you see how I seam it together, how I glue my corners, how I put it all in, what it looks like. I also include some footage at the end of what the kitchen cabinets look like with all the handle pulls and how I use the jig to make it real easy to put the handles on the doors and also I show how I measure to put the handles on the drawers. Yes, it's a great video. I've got some new tools. Uh, the drone is not one of them, but man, did I get bit by the drone bug. I held out for a long time getting one of these things. Uh, I'm going to do more videos on these gadgets here. Actually, I'm going to be putting these to use uh, on the next project that I'm supposed to start and finish tomorrow. i got one day to build this. I'll just give you an update uh, or give you a preview. Do any of you know what this thing is? Uh, it's all the rage on YouTube, so I thought I'd buy one. I was cruising Amazon like on, on New Year's Eve, trying to come up with some tax deductions of tools that, uh, you know, just can improve quality, maybe improve some safety. I also came across this thing. Haven't even gotten out of the box yet. You guys seen this thing? It's a table saw thing. <laughs> we'll get into this in, uh, in a future video. I've got a few other things, but they're inside. Look forward to some more tool reviews. Been uh, trying to up my game to increase my quality and just make things easier on myself. And if you don't know, I've got a new YouTube channel for people who are just getting into uh, a home service business, whether it's a handyman, a painter, or a window washer. It's mainly geared for people just transitioning. Um, I did it. Is it 11 years ago I did it and uh, it's becoming more of a trend we are up to 1500 subscribers um, that are like-minded it's a much smaller community and a lot less distractions so we can discuss the important things about the handyman business please give this video a like and subscribe goodbye yep I got the miter joints cut I did I used a 45 and they are pretty darn tight. The only thing is, is this board is wider than this board. So I got to make sure to focus on just this bottom edge that's going to be shown when I'm lining them up to glue them because this top edge is going to get ripped off anyways. So I've just been doing a couple practice, practice lineups. It's nice and nice and tight. It, I mean the line is going to be less than hairline. So I don't think I'm going to use the activator. I think I'm just going to use the glue so I have more working time and then just force myself to stay here for like two minutes just holding it together. And then maybe reach up and just spray this top seam. This is real thin and it's a weird chemical reaction to watch. As soon as it, this touches this, it instantly makes a chemical reaction and, and, and hardens. So this is the glue, Bob Smith Industries. They kind of have a following in woodworking. Maxi Cure says it reaches full strength in two hours. So I'm not going to run this through the table saw yet, even though I use the, the activator. This stuff here, this Instaset. Uh, in two hours it'll be uh, 
one o'clock in the morning. So before I go, I will set up the table saw and run this hundred and I cut it extra long, 125 inches. Uh, run this through this table saw and shave off um, three eighths of an inch is what I'm going to rip off of this. So that's what's going on tomorrow morning. Okay, it's the next morning. It's a little brisk out here. Don't have the heater on or anything. So this board is 125 inches long. And I've had to totally move the table saw and my outfeed table. Have the garage door wide open. So one last thing I'm going to do before I take this over there is I'm going to glue this piece right there. Use this same, this same glue here. Do you guys have any suggestions on how to do this? Guess a better way? Please leave them in the comments. <clears throat> now I gotta deliver this without breaking it. This here is proud of this here, which is 
making things wobble around. So we either got to remove a little bit of this or remove a little bit of my corner. I think it's going to be easier to remove just a little bit of that, that top corner so that it's flush. Yeah. 